And now for the best medicine of the night. Olympic figure oh, skating. Oh. Ivy's old friend, the real MVP of the day, though. I mean, Roger, the real MVP. All right, guys, it's time to officially start day one of my first protocol of treatment. So before I say anything else, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. He's going to do the same, and you can too. And um, I've got a beat playing in the background here because you can see our shirts. We've got bad already. We got these shirts. Story behind it, um, first time I left the house in about a year after some severe agoraphobia, we went to the Christian bookstore and got these shirts because they match a song that I actually wrote. So I've got the beat playing. I want to do the chorus and hopefully the bridge for you, although I may mess up the bridge because I haven't performed this song in a while. But I'm going to get the beat closer to me so you can get it because I think it's almost to the chorus again. So here's what, here's the song. It's bad already, all right? Yeah, bad already. Bad already. Bad already. Yeah, you know you're getting bad already. Bad already. Battle ready, cause daily you're fighting the enemy. Battle ready, battle ready, battle ready. Yeah, better believe you're getting battle ready. Battle ready, battle ready, cause daily we all fighting the enemy. Armor Ron, suit it up, helmet on, shield up, shoes on, sword tucked, belt just below that breastplate, soldier it up. And then that repeats, but I'm not going to repeat it for you all. I just wanted you to get the hook and the bridge there. Um, actually make a Dr. Seuss reference in the first verse of that, believe it or not. But um, it's about fighting the enemy, and the enemy is Satan. And I truly believe that these diseases, uh, Satan tries to use these diseases to lead us away from God. And we're not going to let that happen, so we are bad already. However, I just have the shirt on for the picture because I need to be able to access my port better. But we wanted to get the picture taken, wanted to film the first clip um, while I had the energy to film it. Um, we don't know what today's going to bring, but we know that we're bad already. And I'm determined to have joy throughout this process, even if it's in the middle of crying while I'm hoaxing um, at any point. So, Roger has the table all set up. I'm already hooked up to my feeds. You can see the tubes coming over here. Um, he's got my Anabata hooked up there. <laughs> And he's got everything set out on the table to get it ready. Saline, heparin, saline. Although I think it's backwards. It goes saline, antibiotic, saline, heparin. Yep. Um, so he's going to get to work on that. And I'm going to put a different shirt on. And uh, we're going to we're gonna get started. Because I'm bad already. Let's beat these buggers. Okay, guys. I'm about halfway through my first infusion of the day. We do this one too. One in the morning, one at night. I woke up with a pretty bad headache, and I, however, I've now got a lot of eye pain in both eyes, and stabbing pains in my ear radiating down, ah, ah, radiating down my jaw and my neck. So it's okay, because that means that the, bu the bugs are being killed, that means they're being killed, and it's no surprise to me that I'm feeling it here, because we know... I have a super high concentration of them right here over top of my trigeminal nerve, which covers all oh, that whole area. It's hard to move this arm because the sight pain hurts, but just a quick report in the middle of the first infusion. Still hopeful. Obviously, it's just day one. Just, uh... Ah! Yeah, Herxine's gonna happen. Hashtag Herxine happens. Maybe we'll put that on a shirt. IV protocol, month one, day one. Just a quick update. It's been about almost two hours since I finished infusing. I'm still having like ice pick pain that is stabbing in my eye and following along that part of my jaw and then stabbing also in my ear and all the way down the jaw and down the right side of my neck. That is by far my worst pain and worst herxine symptom right now it's because we know that bacteria is concentrated in that nerve area. But um, I'm going to try to push through the pain because I'm determined to work on yesterday's vlog and as long as I'm able to push through I'm going to because I'm determined to not quit or not just give up when things get hard 
So I guess this was just a clip saying don't give up when things get hard. However, I do want to say if my body says no, like it has for the past couple of hours, obviously I'm not going to push it right now. It really hurts still, but I'm going to push through it and try to work on the vlog because maybe the distraction will help, you know? Sometimes distractions, you know, at least they take your mind off the pain sometimes. They don't always help. Uh, they don't always work, but we're going to try. So I filmed a clip earlier and I'm not going to use it. So I'm going to give you a quick update as I'm infusing my second dose of the day of this uh, first round of antibiotics. Mom came over tonight uh, to get some practice for when she needs to do it. Um on Wednesday because Raj will be back in school. She's going to be doing it in the mornings on the days that I do treatment. So she wanted to have some practice tonight and that's one of those things that you know it's going to take a couple times but then muscle memory you get it down. But you can see I'm putting pressure on my eye pretty strongly and on my ear. And I've kind of got, yeah and I've kind of got my hand kind of pulling down there on my neck. And the reason for that is that pain that I've been talking about in my ear has not gone away all day but Within one to two minutes of starting this second infusion, just an absolute like ice pick stabbing my ear pain all the way down into my eye on this side of, of my um, head and face. Just It's just not going away today, so that may be one of the major ways this this uh, particular antibiotic is going to make me hurt is my trigeminal area stuff. I've also got an occipital migraine that has grown in intensity. It started around 5 o'clock today. Um, but all that said, I still count as successful first day of treatment. I mean, we're not finished yet. I'm still running the second one right now. Um, I'm just trying to vlog through some of the Herxine and, oh God, my job. Roger just typed up, um, have like a bullet point instruction sheet. So it'd be really easy to follow, um, for mom and for, um, you know, just so we have it here on hand, uh, which has all the instructions like in order and just typed out really easily. So we'll print that within the next day or two. And um, yeah, just day one. I know I haven't moved from bed today, but um, I needed to get some writing done and I got it done. I think I actually wrote too much. So that was nice in that I wrote for a while, but um, I'm probably gonna have to cut a lot of it out, but that's all right. Uh, check back in with you later. All right, guys, we are one, two, three, pushing the saline through. I'm finished with my second infusion for today. So day one of meds, I'm holding my port so it, the end doesn't touch anything. It stays sterile. And Roger's getting ready to flush it with heparin. And uh, we are watching, you hear commercials in the background. That's why I'm talking a little loudly, which is hurting my headache too. So sorry if it's hurting yours. Um, Not hurting mine because I don't have one. No. Anyway, uh, we're watching Celebrity Big Brother, and there goes the heparin. To make sure we keep the line free of clogs and everything, one big push with the heparin. I'm still holding that sterile. And he will wipe it off with alcohol once more, just to make sure it's nice and clean, and then put a new little end cap on it. Um, so we've got this part of the process pretty down pretty well. And overall, I think today was a successful first day. I can say that now. We're finished. I am herxing. That is really loud and hurting my head. The commercials are so much louder than the show. But look, hooked up, so it goes right back under. And voila! Day one finished with my infusions down. Still having some sight pain here. Um, so that's not been pleasant today, but that's getting a little better with time as well. And Celebrity Big Brother just got Cray. And by Cray, I mean the person that we wanted to win the veto won the veto, so he pulled himself off the block because we kind of want him to win. That person would be Ross Matthews. No, Shannon's not playing. Yeah, no, I, huh. um, but no. Oh. Yeah. But take the tubing off, right? Oh, uh, yeah, you can. Fine. Yeah, sorry. I save all of my meds. I've saved all my bottles for the past five years. I'm saving each of the IV bags. I have great plans for the end of all I didn't of this. Save the first one because I threw it. No, Mom put it up there. Just, we didn't save the. Oh. We didn't save the same lame ones on that, but um, putting those up there. Yeah. All right. So oh, crap, yeah. I threw away those. It's okay. The syringes. That's okay. We'll do it next time. Of course, you miss a few. In the grand scheme of things, it'll be all right. But yeah, so we're watching Celebrity Brother. Then we're going to watch Ice Dancing Free Dance. So uh, yeah, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer in first after last night. I actually fell asleep for them. 
uh, Roger actually was awake and said they were awesome. They were awesome. The Shibutanis are in fourth place, I believe. I think. After the, after the short, I have, or yeah, after the short I was dance. Kind of, I was kind of sleepy, but from what I remember, Chaka Bates are in third and Shibutanis are in fourth. Yeah, and Big Brother just came back on, so we gotta go see Julie Chen and see who's gonna be evicted tonight. I had a slight turn in events. Nazi just hit me like, whoa. I feel like I'm about to throw up, so Roger's going to get that IV so for out of the refrigerator and figure out what we need to do to hook it up. Because this nausea is just... Oh, God. Oh, it came out of nowhere, and it's really bad. But I just wanted to document day one since we told you it was going well, and it still is nausea to be expected. I'm surprised it didn't hit earlier, but it's really bad right now. It's okay. It's all part of it. That's why we have stuff like... Mm. The stuff like the Zofran that we can use. Well, Ivy Zofran was kind of clutch. It came in clutch there. Mr. Clutch over there ran and got it fast from the fridge and it put up for me, so... Oh, crisis averted. I thought I was going to lose the contents of my stomach, which is nothing, <laughs> all over the bed. Mm -hmm. So, that would have been interesting and fun. But we're sitting here, Roger's reading it. Yo, and I'm listening to the audiobook that I've got on tap right now. So we're waiting for the uh, ice dancing to get started a little bit later. The Americans don't come on until um, the earliest comes on at 10:17, so it's not even yet 10 o'clock. So we're we're listening slash reading books while we wait. And now for the best medicine of the night: Olympic figure oh, skating. Oh. Ivy Zofran, the real MVP of the day, though. I mean, Roger's a real MVP, but Ivy's over and came in clutch, like I said earlier, but Olympic skating makes everything better. We're going to watch the ice dancing now. As predicted, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer kicked butt, but uh, man, the Shibutani showed up really well, too. Um, it was great to watch. We just finished watching it. We're getting ready to go to bed. I just want to say I'm probably going to make a new video clarifying exactly what I meant when I talked about the DNRS, the Dynamic Neural Retraining System, because I think a lot of people have watched that video and they're getting on me because they think I'm saying something that I'm not. But um, I'm not, I'll, I'll make a different video about that. Just wanted to get on for the night. I'm still dealing with a headache behind my eyes and a stabbing pain there. And then I had that nausea wave earlier, but things are a little calmer right now. So, day one down. See you tomorrow. Good night.